Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Hello. We're going to be playing a little bit of the Devil May Cry 5 demo that popped up in the store yesterday. Um, I haven't got the chance to play this yet. I have seen a little bit of the trailers for Devil May Cry 5. And obviously, uh, I've actually, I've, the only Devil May Cry game I've ever actually really played any of was the Devil, DMC Devil May Cry like, redo, reboot that they tried a couple of years ago. And I enjoyed it. A degree. I just um spectacle fighters. I've never really massively got into. Bayonetta I didn't get into. Um I, whenever I started looking at them, they looked to me like Ninja Gaiden, but with more flair. And I was like, mm, not too sure I'm into that. So I never got into the Devil May Cry series. Maybe this will be the one that'll drag me into it. And I might want to go back and replay the first four in a hit in HD that they have when I re-released. We'll take a look to see what this one is gonna provide. Um I've some people are massively into the Devil May Cry bullshit. I, my my full experience, my most experiences with Dante are actually in Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> that's how that's how I know what Dante is and what he does. So let's see who we've got. I'm assuming Nero was in this because I know he was a new character in four. So what? Um, looks okay. <laughs> this also looks a little bit okay. There we go. There we go. And that's that's all three of them sorted. Auto assist lets you perform intricate combos with simple button inputs. Okay. I'm just, just for the fact that I'm going to be doing this for the first time, I, I want to... I've never played a Devil May Cry game. I think I might take the little auto assist on the first try. I'm sure it means that it's limited to me that I can only do A combos rather than S combos. And what kind of pleb would ever do that? Metal Gear. Okay, I don't know if that came out of the phone or, or <laughs> out of the phone, out of the screen or my controller. Buy now. You buy now. I'm just gonna take. Okay, I wanted to take a look. If there was anything important or like anything. Sometimes in the option setting, you can see that they have little tweaks for actually improving visual visual fidelity over action and frame rate. I'm curious to know a lot of games. A lot of modern games tend to be doing this on console. I thought it might have been the case for Devil May Cry, but no, nope. There is a specified experience that they are providing for you, so I'm sure that just fires piercing beams. Sure, I'm going to do this at some point. All right, Devil Breaker Punchline, Jet Gadget, Boost Knock. Okay. I don't know. That's it. No more wheels from here. All right. Guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out. What? And this is? From Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. Okay. Oh, it's a control guide. Um, cool. Lock on. Melee, gun, jump. Devil Breaker. Alright, so the different ones are Demolishing Shockwave and High Flying Haymaker. Sure. Gun, melee, jump. Gun, melee, jump, lock on. That's all I really need to know. Jump. Gun. Melee. Yeah. Okay, so it's like an electric punch. Makes sense. Zapper time. Okay, I'm gonna do this every time I kill something. Okay. 
What I was doing to actually accomplish the fumbles, I assume it was just because I was tapping triangle. Yeah. The demons doing in a city like this. There's something to this place. I'm making it easy for me, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, you fire off like a rocket punch. Okay. No, it sounds like you pick up different ones from the ground, I think. Okay. So you have multiple fists. Nice. Don't fear the Reaper. Out of the control pad are cool, I suppose. All right, find another thing. Gerbera, press circle, talk wave in front of you, and fraction will move quickly. Press and hold circle until the arm glows and release. Like energy beam, okay. Will we make use of that? Equals double breakers. Eco? So, hmm. I thought it was Nero, but Nico? Oh. Enough to actually give the world. Now, nope. big fucking thing in the sky. Really Not gonna be sick of this stupid tree. Oh, 
Nidhog. Drop a parasitic Nidhog hatchling to a demon tree root in. Deep forward. Okay, a hatchling nearby. Okay, how's it going, hatchling? You need to kill this. No? Oh, cool. More arms. Hatchling. Glory to the Nidhogg! So, I'm gonna be fighting a giant worm demon at some point, I imagine. So that's what I need. I need the Nidhogg Hatchling. I have to put it inside its disturbing hatchling hole. Uh, I'm perturbed by just the existence of that. Not gonna lie, this new arm is pretty sweet. I just realized this is London. <laughs> Thought back to phone lines? Ooh. Who am I talking to? I guess the phone still works. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened to the third ring room? Tell you what, you call me from now on and I'll hustle on over. Okay. Oh, I have our number. <laughs> That's a decent taxi service, to be honest. Bed orbs for skills. Okay. There's no such thing as too prepared. Devil may cry. Probably gonna to have to use it to get over this gap that I'm just seeing in front of me. Yep, air dash. Not air dash, air double jump. I did not mean to slide past there, I wanted to hit the thing that was to my left. Somebody call a doctor? You men! I wasn't expecting any survivors! Okay. You is gonna get stomped, dude. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here? About this big, uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Your blood But I would have used the cane as a toothpick. I must have every last drop to move the underworld as king. <laughs> king? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Yeah, no offense. Hey! 
you do parties? <laughs> Think I'm dead the Colossus. All right, fair enough. Time to beat on the Colossus. You'll be sorry for this. Yeah, maybe I will. Sorry, I'm about to kill you. Make sure I don't get hit, because <coughs> that seemed very, very stiff and awkward for a game over screen. That's it. Whoa! Nope. Did that take me all the way back. Are you serious? Okay, so you literally, like, the mission fails if you you just go back to the beginning of the mission. I assume it's probably because of being a demo, like, but that's a bit fucked. Well, I mean, essentially, if that's. If it's gonna make me do another. It's gonna make me do the whole mission again. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna fight that boss again. It definitely, Christ still hasn't drawn me in. It's like, it's cute. It's the same way Bayonetta does. Hang on a second. Alexa, stop. Alexa. Stop. <laughs> I was trying to read me the news this morning. Um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not playing this again. <laughs> I think that, that's uh, my opinion of Devil May Cry. I was like, ah, huh, right. That's what I thought it was. Okay, no, never mind. Goodbye. So I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to play through and fight that boss again. Um, yeah, Devil May Cry 5. Um, no. Deluxe Edition. Deluxe Edition is just so you can see them from the front. Um, I'm assuming there's actually like more missions that you can actually play through. There's a whole bunch of other stuff to actually. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not massively fussed on Devil May Cry as a series. 
It's one of those ones that just kind of uh, passed me by the wayside and I never got massively into it. Um, the character looks cool. He's, it's, it looks goofy and cool in its own way. Same way like Metal Gear Solid Revengeance was or um, Bayonetta the few times I actually give a crack at that. Um, again, just, it's just a character that I, a character in a series I'm not too massively fussed with or don't particularly care about. So Devil May Cry doesn't hold a massive amount of attention or important for me, but I can imagine there's a lot of people out there who would love to educate me on the DMC lore and what interesting things there is in it. But feel free to drop those into the comments below. I'd be more than welcome to actually see if there's, if there's any um, visual medium, is there like a DMC comics or like a, a, a cutscene compilation that you would recommend? Then feel free to throw it into the comments below. And it's like, just so I can know what am I missing out on that's actually pretty awesome because I've never ever got into Devil May Cry at all. Well, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to play through the beginning of Devil May Cry 5. You can pretty much tell that it was a shot off the cuff. I don't really know what's going on with the story thing. This already looks interesting. There's people with devils and Dantes and things going on with ARI. I, I would like to know more, so if you can tell me and make, this, and make, make me get excited for this, then it would be an interesting... Um, I'll come back to it. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. All right, time to kick some ass. Yourself. He likes to kill demon things. Not so fast. That's why I built him that well functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. Let's go for a walk, little chicky. Get lit. Crack it up, Christian. I think we should split into two groups and cover more ground. Good idea. Okay, Shakespeare. Just remember this. You and I like to exist, so get rid of those demons quick, because killing them ain't my stick. Go. What evil lurks? I must destroy. Why don't you tell me everything about this job? A powerful demon is about to resurrect, and we need your help, Dante. Yeah! What? Does that mean you're going to? I have a duty to see this through. You need to see this through. Dante's war. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. <laughs> Made it for Lady and she paid for it, so consider it a rental. What's happening now? Hey, get out of here! This is a bad move! Get out of here!